Hey guys, so today I am giving you guys some meal inspirations, I guess you could say. Um, I was filming some of the meals we've had recently and I hope it gives you guys uh, some inspiration. Usually that's the hard thing for me is coming up uh, with what to make. And so I figured I would just show you guys. The first meal here is mashed potatoes, chicken, and asparagus. And this is kind of the Amish style mashed potatoes, what you would typically see uh, in the Amish communities. Um, very rich and creamy and delicious and so this is what we had one evening. I'm not sharing a lot of these recipes mainly because I don't necessarily have copyright rights to them um, but I hope it uh, gives you guys some inspiration you can always go look it up. Uh, this night I made creamed eggs with toast and I think I was pretty much the only one who ate it because Nick was not home but I wanted some for his lunch and I love this it's really yummy if you've never had it I would say definitely give it a try and see if you can make it um, the next night I have a cheesy alfredo chicken penne it's sort of like an Applebee's copycat of their um, what used to be three cheese chicken penne pasta or something and it's really yummy I love it and yeah it was one of my favorites And since we're still kind of having colder weather, I decided to make a cheesy potato bacon type soup. Um, I think I kind of went by a recipe, but this can kind of be adapted and it's really yummy. And I also made some sweet potato bites that I bought from Aldi, mainly for the boys because they're not huge soup fans, but these are actually really good. So if you haven't ever tried them out, uh, I would say go ahead and do that. They're really good. Something I do fairly frequently for Sunday lunch is a roast with carrots and onions. Just put it in the crock pot and then potatoes in the oven and then we smash them and put toppings on it and it's really good and easy. The next meal uh, you might recognize if you have any Amish background or if you're familiar with it, um, but this is something we would have had in church growing up Amish. Um, it's something that is probably weird to most people, but I absolutely love it and we love it as well as a family. But there's like a creamy peanut butter spread that we make and it's, it has like marshmallow cream and some other things in there to make it really um, just really creamy and it's just delicious. But anyway, then we put ham on it uh, or maybe like a bologna of some sort with uh, cheese. Some people don't put all these toppings on but this is typically what I do and then um, usually we have some kind of good pickles. I like the sweeter type like maybe the bread and butter and put that on it and it is so yummy. Um, you can buy this peanut butter at like Amish like bulk food type stores so if you ever want to give it a try um, do that and let me know what you guys think. Um, most people who didn't grow up with it kind of think it's a little weird but this is uh, this is something that I really really love and we had made this on a Sunday night I had had it on hand and it's just an easy way to kind of fill up So Nick was in the mood for nachos one Sunday night and we typically don't make a whole lot uh, Sunday evenings, so we fried up some hamburger with uh, some taco seasoning and stuff And then we just loaded it basically like loaded nachos um, we cut up some tomatoes, some green onion, cilantro, and then just topped it with sour cream and shredded cheese. And it was really yummy. I wish we would make this more often, and I think we're going to try and do that. So the following evening, I wanted to use up some of my taco meat. Uh, so I just put it in a tortilla with some salsa, sour cream, and cheese. And it's really yummy and easy. Plus, I was able to use up some leftovers, which is always a win. And I also happen to have some dessert on hand that night. I don't often make dessert uh, specifically, but this is something really easy. There's like peanut butter and graham crackers along with some sugar and then just some chocolate and vanilla pudding and whipped topping and then the crumbs on top. It's so good. It's really easy, but it's, I love it. Um, so yeah, 
So I hope this gave you guys some inspiration and some ideas for meals and whatnot. Um, if you have any questions or whatever, let me know. And if you like this kind of video, give me a thumbs up. I would love that. And that's it, guys. I hope you all have a great week. Bye.